gathering all the reindeer there are so many you cannot believe it they bring in the morning all the little reindeer and they bring it on that area so all the others they gather so they can actually get milk from them it looks like to be in a different reality it's surreal there is 11 family that live in this camp and this is the summer camp they have normally three or four camp one for summer winter spring and fall I'm surprised how this animal they are wild animal but they are so calm and relaxed around people me and Emma this morning we were going to the bathroom and a bunch of them they were following us checking what we were doing the camp is right here but the bathroom is way down there they come, look here you go. she's coming toward me she's melting my hands oh, I don't have anything I don't have anything <laughs> she's licking my hands the horn they're so soft guys really really soft So they said that they actually ride the reindeer, but something cool is they said there are reindeers are actually faster in these marshes than the horses. Why? Because of their feet. The horses, they have the feet like this, but the reindeer, if you look at this one right here, you see the feet are all de de detached, like different nails. So they're, when they're on the marshes, they walk faster because they don't sink because they spread them out as much as they can, like nails. But the problem is that um, they said they're really hard to ride the reindeer, so we can't ride them. Dang it. I mean, we can, but... They're really hard. And then, now they're very skinny. They're getting fat for winter. It's almost time for milking the reindeers. And they are tying them to different poles so they won't just walk away when it's when they're ready to do the milking. <laughs> uh, yesterday, I said that I saw two male reindeers. They were, they were on four legs and they did like this thing. Oh, but we told me we don't have the video to show you. It was not even a picture. And he said when it's mating season, season, the horns, um, they the antlers, they, the antlers, oops, antlers they, they sharpen them on the tree because they're lethal weapons. Because then after they fight. Now they're all relaxing. Because this is part of the wildlife. Well, when's mating season? It's a fall. Fall. Like, uh, fall. Oh, okay. September, October. How long? When they're... The mating season is late August and September. Then uh, the offsprings are coming out by end of April, beginning okay. of May. <laughs> when you have an itchy spot, this is where your horns are going to They're all itching. It, uh, it goes until next watch, or April. Then it'll fall off. Because the antler is like a, it's like an extension of themselves. Yeah, you know, the beginning of the curve, we consider it's the, the blood antler. Because uh -huh. it's not formed to to be the bones. After a few months, it, it will form into the bones. Uh -huh. But now, now it's, it's sensitive, it means still the, the blood is running. Oh. So they don't really like when you touch it that much. Mm. In the heat of the day, when they, when they get the flies, they'll jump around and run around. Just to get rid of, of them. Just, <laughs> yes. Try to get so all these papers, all these things attached to them are the kids that decorate them. Yes. And also, uh, the kids will rise. It's, it's just an indication of the, the belong to the particular family. Today we're going to learn how to make Taiga bread. So she puts some water. This Dao. is salt. Oh. Now, when we're doing this in a teepee, just wanted to say this, and that here's Emma. So we have the stove in the middle of the room. She's gonna put some oil in the pot. This is where the bread is gonna rise. And now she has a um, yeast. No, Oh, you can smell it. 
cinnamon. Oh, so it's too hot. Yeah, because it should be lukewarm usually. But then she's gonna put all of that back inside. This, in order to grow like that, has been sitting for two days. Rather than sitting, it has been hanging up there. You need to scissors. <laughs> the trick here is that all the food has to hang because otherwise the dogs come and eat it. Because the dogs here know how to open zippers. Yes, they're very, very good at that. These are our hosts that are teaching us how to make bread. So the bread is an active part of their meal and it's also what they offer when they, you come over. We had it yesterday. Greetings. Yes. Here, she puts the flour. So where do they get the flour? To From the town. And to get to the town, they go by horse, horse or reindeer? Yeah, horses and reindeer. And she makes the bread every day. Every day. Yeah. The reindeers are coming by. Hi. I think he wants some bread too. And this reindeer is back. Hello. Like you have nothing to eat. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. So she cuts it in there. And that's gonna be for the next bread. So she put it in the pot. Leave it rest. So how long is she gonna leave it in the? Well, three, four hours. Okay. To sit it rest. So she will leave it next to the stove. So it grows faster. About two o'clock. She'll put it on this. On this, and how long will it cook for? Three kilo Oh, can't tell you what the tara. Can't you have me in tara and TV in the coyote chapter? How you put it up for Maybe one or two hours. Nick <laughs> Nick That's a great sock. <laughs> so here we have dried meat. I guess reindeer, right? Yes. And then this is good to drink. It's a good plan for for the lungs. For the lungs. And then here we have the curd made from the reindeers, which is very good. We tried it yesterday. They keep everything up so the dogs don't go for okay. it. <gasps> wow, look at that. It has grown. It looks like it's already red. Mm, well, shaping. now she has to cook it. It's shaping. Yeah, she needs to cook quite soon now. It's almost time to cook it. So now it's going to cook for an hour. Yeah. Yes. They just took down one teepee, I think because they changed location. So they're gonna rebuild it. They move it from here, you see all the stuff, to down there. Let's go see it. Oh, now we have to cross the river. Where did you go? <coughs> okay, go cross the river. Here's the dog. You want to smell you. Huh? <laughs> you like me. Here you go, let's go see her. They are building, they are building the TV over there. And this is the entire camp. So they tied the, the first three. Yeah, yeah, I'm having a little. 
I need to buy little they're gonna have the other one and the third and everything. So they move it here because over there they said they've been for a while and they realized there is a lot of dust in there and it's close to the water so damp and dust too much. So they decided to move it from here to this location. And there is another one over there because now some family traveling, when they travel they took down everything, they, they, they leave it like this so the next time they come at the camp they found the structure already and they cover it and they put the stuff inside. He's kind of placing it better because as you can see they don't have ladders. I can't believe we had a chance to actually see a TV being built. Now they're moving all of their stuff from that spot where they were located to this one. And then I think they're gonna put the, the stove up. This is so cool. <laughs> and it'll take a while. Yeah, little by little, they have to rebuild the bed, they have to rebuild the, the stove inside. The kitchen, everything. After the structure is done, now they're moving all their stuff inside the new house. But it's interesting that we've been here to see it. <laughs> they don't move their tents every day. No. There's more milking happening here. Here there's more mamas and this is our host milking her reindeers. <laughs> Look how much. She has a lot of milk now. Is It's a lot of milk. Guys, you see how fast she is? You can know she's been doing this for a while. How much milk this one has? <laughs> they say that they collect three to four liters of milk a day. Oh no, no, no. Every time they milk them normally. I think you have to follow her if you want to do it. So she ties the front legs. So the reindeer doesn't decide to hop away. Or just start walking when she's, when she's like, Ugh. guys, so now we're doing expert then versus beginner. I have to see how good I am. Okay, you try. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. 
Oh, oh, come on, stop! <laughs> oh, you have to get your finger wet. Oh, so Cosimo was going to try to milking the reindeer. Nothing's coming out! Oh, wait! Oh, wait! So I'm milking the reindeer! <laughs> Isn't it really weird? <laughs> Not as fast as her, but... Is, is anything coming out? Yeah, there's little bee... It's cool, it's coming out. <laughs> Try to get it all in there. Well, how does she stay like this all day? Well, not all day, but... You just have to pull it and squeeze it, that's super... <laughs> Is there any milk in this one? Oh no, wait. I'm getting it. Everything. Are you I sure? You saw how much milk I got from it. Is that. <laughs> She's gonna check. No, I said that. Oh, did you good! I did it! Ah, now we gotta milk. I have to, I think you have to untie her. Oh. So let's see. Pulling. That's a weird knot. This. Good job. <laughs> and do I just give her the rope? Ah, it's ham bun. I guess that was pretty exceptional. I guess so. Oh, she's like, no, it's my turn. <laughs> Here she goes again. She's very fast. <laughs> and she gets much more when she squeezes it. Yeah, look at that. She has a technique. She already changed reindeer. Now the babies can have the milk after they've been milked, and so they're very excited. That one, mom doesn't want to give him any milk. I don't have any milk. <laughs> See, now they're trying to get the milk as fast as they can. I don't have milk. Look at that. <laughs> so guys, just you now know. it rained, right? And so now the reindeers, the front of the fur is very soft. Now it's like all clumped together. It feels like, like Play-Doh. <laughs> like it's really, and now she's leaving. She doesn't appreciate it. But if you look, it's like super, oh. And then it's very sheddy also. Watch, wait, let's Hello. see if we can make her shake. Oh no, she's turning around. Hello. Wait, it's super cool how it's all like smushy and mushy. The thing is, you guys have to come to the reindeer tribe yourselves. Don't look in the video. I mean, look at the video. Please like, subscribe, and do the bell and all those other things. But um, make sure that you also just come to the reindeer tribe and see reindeers and milk reindeers and do everything come find we did. What? You thought it was over? It's not over. Yes. Tune in next time to see how we end our day in the reindeer tribe. Or do we end it? Da -na -na -na. Emma! <laughs> oh, sorry, Bubble. See you, Bubble. Wee. You see the color? This is purpley. That represents the the meat. Mm -hmm. The blood is the red. Guys, we're leaving, and there's a rainbow. Look at that on the last day.